New research suggests trading your plastic water bottles for refillable glass or metal ones because the plastic can break down into tiny pieces in your water. And experts say that's not the only change we should make since microplastics are almost everywhere. Microplastics are inescapable. They're all around us. Sophia Ruan Goucher's concern over microplastics was born out of fear about what's in her baby's bottle after she saw some posts online. So I would look to see if there were credible sources to back up these claims that I would read about in books or in the news. And the answer was always, yes, I am concerned. She then spent eight years researching the topic, writing everything she learned in A to Z of detoxing. If they're inside us or if they're in the food or in what we drink, it's just risky because they can disrupt our hormones, contribute to tumors, and a long list of concerns that's, that scientists are still studying. A review of research published by the National Institutes of Health found more research still needs to be done, writing, not enough information is available to fully understand the implications of microplastics for human health. What should we be doing? There's so many simple things we can do, but if you spend the rest of your life just focused on the plastics that are involved in what you eat and drink, then that will be very high impact. So for example, next time you open your refrigerator, look to see all the plastic that you notice, plastic food containers, beverage containers, packaging materials like plastic wrap, and get in the habit of putting the food and drinks in, in non-toxic glass or stainless steel, and that will be huge. For example, one change that made the threat of microplastics easier to swallow for her was switching to a glass baby bottle. And a group that represents the plastics industry called Plastics Europe says they are very aware of the issue of microplastics and they're funding research projects to figure out the impact and how to limit the problem.